Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to a review of Suicidal Tendencies, the self-titled record by the band Suicidal Tendencies. Today we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the record, so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple. I've stumbled upon the music video for their song You Can Bring Me Down on MTV on Viva when I was 4 years old. That was a very long time ago. And that song had amazing energy, great vocals, lovely guitar solo. It just captivated me and to this day I consider it one of the best songs by this band. Later when I finally got the internet I've checked out their entire discography and I've been their fan ever since. Here's the tracklist and the lineup we've got Mike Mer on the vocals, he's the founding member, Grant on the guitars, Luis or however you pronounce that on the bass and Amory on the drums. As you can see, most of the songs were written by just the vocalist Mike Murr, and some of them he co-wrote with the bassist. The production on the record is alright, it could have been better, but I don't expect much of it. Those were the early 80s and it sounds like a live recording, and that's fine, you can hear every instrument without any problems. Ten years later, the band re-recorded the entire album, because they had some problems with the label and I must say that I still prefer this original recording, it's just more intense and emotional. Message is diverse, the songs are about various topics, mostly it's about struggling through life, politics, society, teenage angst, even comedy stuff. It has certainly anti-government edge to it, with songs like Subliminal, which are about basically the state controlling people through media. Some stuff on this album when it comes to the lyrics is always going to be timeless, because teenage angst and government fucking up, that's just eternal. Structure of the songs is basic, standard intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, solo, chorus, outro, sometimes it's slightly different. And the music here is like hardcore punk or skater punk, with some slight thrash metal influences. Some people say this record inspired thrash metal a little bit, and I must agree. The album starts with the song Suicides on Alternative, slash you'll be sorry. And the first thing you're going to notice here is the guitar work. It's stellar throughout the entire record. We get some cool hardcore punk guitar riffs some more catchier ones and some heavier ones as well. It just works. The bass is audible, it mostly follows the guitars. The drumming, stellar for the entire record. I enjoy it. The drummer can play it fast, he can play it slow, he can do it all. And finally we have the vocals by Mike. I must say that he sounds pissed off on this record, and I truly enjoy his vocals. They are certainly better than on the re-recording where for some reason he sometimes sings in a weird voice. It annoys me. This song is kinda two songs. And I must say that I enjoy the first one a lot. Suicide on Alternative is a banger. I love the energy, the speed, the intensity, the vocals, the lyrics, great stuff. But the next song, you'll be sorry, now this one is not that great to be honest, it's still decent, but I wish they were separated, because Suicide and Alternative is 10 out of 10, but you'll be sorry, it's like 6 out of 10, so yeah, 8 out of 10, two-sided politics, now this song has amazing lyrics, and it's fast, it's straight to the point, it's only 1 minute long, it has a guitar solo for some reason, I truly enjoy it, you know, 9 out of 10, I Shot the Devil, now this song was first called I Shot Regan, but it was, it was changed apparently because FBI told the band to, I kinda don't believe that, but who knows what happened in the 80s, like I wasn't alive back then, that might be true, who knows. This track is one of my favorites on this album because of the vocal performance, Mike sounds deranged on this song. Like on the first track, Suicide on Alternative, it was like laughing like a maniac. 
in the beginning, but here he's just so angry. He just snapped in the middle of the song and he's screaming his lungs out. I truly enjoy it. You don't get this kind of performance on the re-recording from 1993, which is a bummer. I wish he could still do that, you know, just scream his heart out. This is a perfect song. 10 out of 10. Subliminal. Now this one is kinda disappointing compared to the previous two songs. It's still fun. I do enjoy the guitar work and the drumming. The vocals could have been better, they're just good. 8 out of 10. Won't fall in love today. Now this song is only one minute long. It has a very cool main guitar riff. I enjoy it. It sounds like classic punk music. But I must say that the vocals and the lyrics, like, I don't care for them. This is the weakest song by far. 7 out of 10. Institutionalized. Now this is a banger. It's a classic. Everybody knows this song. They recorded it in 1993. Then a Limp Biscuit quoted that Pepsi line in their song called Stuck. And then Body Count did a cover, I think in 2014 or 15, I don't exactly remember. This is a classic track. Like, Mike only wanted a Pepsi, just one Pepsi. Why his mother wouldn't give him that? Why? Just why? We need Pepsi, man! <laughs> I just love this song. It's teenage angst at its finest, and I guess it's true, like, people can get you over the edge quickly these days. I love the lyrics, the music. The vocals are fine, I think they are slightly better in the re-recorded version. But yeah, this is a classic, I love this one. 10 out of 10. Memories of Tomorrow. I think Slayer covered this one on their 1996 album. I truly enjoy this song because it's probably the heaviest and most brutal one when it comes to the instrumental work. And the vocals are also angry. And I just love this track. It's not the best but it's a highlight for sure. 9 out of 10. Possessed. Now this is the weakest song on the record by far. I just don't know what the hell is happening with the vocals and some of the guitar riffs are not for me. It's still not a shitty song. I do enjoy it. I do replay it every time I listen to this record, but on its own I wouldn't ever play it. 6 out of 10. I saw your mommy. Now this song is slightly better than the previous one, I do enjoy the funny lyrics and the heavier, more brutal parts with the screaming, the singing, well, it's fine. 7 out of 10, Fascist Pig. Now this is another song that is quite disappointing to me, because to be quite honest the vocals just don't hit that much and the guitar work is not that special. It's still not a bad song and I don't hate it, but it's just decent. 6 out of 10, I want more. Now this one brings back some of that energy and the intensity of the first songs of this record. At the beginning we have some clean singing, which is kinda nice, I do enjoy it. I think that later on Mike fucked up his clean singing, like on the re-recording it's not as good as here. The music it's okay, nothing special, it's just interesting. 7 out of 10. And the final song, Suicidal Failure. Now this one has great lyrics, but the music could have been better. I do enjoy the vocals here. Yeah, it's yet again nothing special, it's just a good song. 7 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is various and the flow is digestible, replayability. Yeah, it's a great record. I mostly enjoy all of the songs here. I think that if they would remove Possessed and Fascist Pig, the album would have been even more fun to listen to. Like, those songs aren't bad, but they aren't great either. So, the highlights of this one are Institutionalized, I Shot the Devil, Two-Sided Politics, Suicide's an Alternative, Memories of Tomorrow, stuff like that. Check out these songs, they are great. I truly enjoy the vocals on this record, the sheer emotions and anger in them. The music is also fun to listen to. I am kinda disappointed how the re-recording came out to be, you know. I expected better vocals there and better production and 
they kind of failed at that, I still enjoy the original way more. This one is great. Celebrate the Norseway by spinning this record today, it truly deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, give me one Pepsi in the comments, <laughs> follow me on my Instagram, it's in the description, I will see you in my other videos, bye!